Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and uh, a bunch of packages and things arrived. Catherine had a sale, um, I think it was all Halloween things, and I bought this fly paper because I love flies and insects and especially around fall. And then it had the poison with the skull and crossbones. Like, I love to collect stuff like this. I think she threw in these labels. I don't know. It could have been a lot that was included. Um, very nice. I love old labels. I won a mug, so I got a free giveaway. Um, she also sent some other ephemera extras and then told me that Pam sent me this. And I think I bid on this, or if Pam's bidding, I am not going to bid against her, but I really loved it. And it is this Halloween, what is it? Brand, I don't know what, like maybe pumpkin. <laughs> it's so amazing. I'm gonna stick it on the fridge right and now. Here, look at those little eyes on the cat in the corner. Can you see them? So thank you to Catherine for all of my extras and goodies. Thank you to Pam for this. I love them. There we go. I love to decorate um, with things that make sense in that room so i think this makes sense in the kitchen i've also seen people get a tin can and then wrap the label around it but then you wouldn't be able to see halloween and the pumpkin all at once so Catherine is Catherine young um, she has a channel and pamela is pamela blanchard and she has a channel and i'm sure most of you know about these ladies but if you don't they're awesome I have a little bit of a thrift haul from last week. I don't think I ever filmed it. I got this reed diffuser for $2. It was brand new in the box and it is Mistral, M-I-S-T-R-A-L. And the scent, well, the bottom says Maison and it's Verbena. Well, it smells lovely. This spider web was $2 and it's made out of wire and string and it has these great spiders on it. Really, they remind me of that wooden spider pin that's so realistic. I mean, these aren't, but similar materials. And I liked, gee, I just how it was all kind of wavy. I have a feeling it was an outdoor decoration because it looks a little weathered. Um, so I could put it on the porch. I could put it anywhere, but I have it here for now. Um, I got two perfume labels online. I really love labels that have violets on them, but it's really hard to find a perfume bottle out thrifting that has a label, even a partial label. So I thought, okay, I'll just buy some. And if I've got some plain bottles, I can put them on there. So I picked up this one. And then I also, I had to get the Lily of the Valley. This is my flea market haul and one thing from an estate sale. And I'm actually gonna clean it up now, it's not a lot. And then I'm gonna film the haul, but you'll see that video first. And I'm gonna clean up the stuff from last week so then I can just display it all at the same time and check that off my to-do list. I feel like I have a few more Halloween decorations to put out. So after I finish cleaning the things, I'm gonna get into that. I taped this to the front of the window um, or to our front window. I'm curious as to how it looks on the outside, but the sun comes more from the other side. So I do know that I'm taking a risk of things fading, but it's kind of one of those things like, you know, fading makes it look vintage, but like you gotta use what you have. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna see what it looks like from outside. <laughs> These are some of the pieces that I haven't put out yet. They're just the fun stuff. Things the kids have made, glitter spiders. I did add a photo to that, so I, I'm going to stick that on my table of curiosities. Um, so I got to think about where I can put these. All right, Frankenstein's monster and jack-o'-lantern are up on the fridge. Mm -hmm. And these, I think they were like cross stitch ornament frames that I turned into magnets for these stickers that I had or used to get when I was a kid in elementary school on my papers. So those were not saved for my papers, <laughs> but I did buy them online and I got the four Halloween ones that I remember. Scratch and sniff. I love them so much. 
So I have them holding up the art that the kids made. And I'm thinking I'm going to glue magnets to the back of these. And then that can help hold them down. And it, wouldn't that be cute? The little glitter spiders all over the fridge. I didn't have any of my thicker black ceramic magnets, but I do have these teeny tiny ones that are not really good for anything except maybe gluing right underneath some of the legs. So it's actually kind of hard to balance them. I'm doing one on each side and then when those are dry, then I'll try like two more, but that'll be a nice way to use these up. I put two more of the skeletons here, so I'll have to go outside again and see how they look. I have a picture in this and it'll just sit nicely there. I could actually um, put a ribbon through this and then hang it by my award ribbons. And then I was even thinking something like that. You could put ribbons down behind and make it look like an award. And I just hung those off of the handle of the trophy. So I don't think I need any more up there, but always could if I had to. For dinner, we've got cauliflower, onions, peppers, zucchini, and asparagus. And then we have tuna. Two magnets actually worked just fine. So I've got them up there and I've got two more spiders and I'm definitely gonna add the magnets to them. I got a gyro, salad, baked potato. Chicken rice soup and spaghetti. Before I went to church this morning, I switched out the pins that I had on a little velvet pillow. The back was a needlepoint. It was just a modern piece. And I have this um, purse, which I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it or not. And then I thought, well, if I put the pins on it, I think I will. So I'm going to get rid of the small little needlepoint. And this is where I have my pins that I just love for Halloween and fall. I've got little frogs gathered there. I've got the coral Victorian piece and the bee, my lions, crescent moons, and then a few of the pieces I moved to um, my pumpkin. For dinner, I made a salad. I made beef barley soup, lots of vegetables in there. And then I also have some hot sausages, peppers, and onions. We're at Anthropology at the mall and they have a few Halloween things out, but they already have Christmas out, which is crazy. And I don't know, I guess I forgot to film. I thought I did, but this is the Halloween stuff. I made scallops for dinner and we also have leftover soup and then roasted vegetables with some spinach, rice cauliflower, some seasonings, um, feta cheese, olives. So there's like a tomato, peppers, Brussels sprouts in there. And the seasoning is basically like chicken stock. It just tastes very good together. What's wild is we've been getting uh, raspberries. This might be the last year for the raspberries. I think they've kind of I don't know. This is the worst I've ever seen them. Actually, I've always seen them very well. A couple down there, too. I went to the hospital rummage sale today and I got a lot of things and I thought that I would share clothes and maybe household things in this video and then art supplies, antiques, jewelry in a separate haul video. So for my daughter, I got this dress. It was $8 from The Gap. It really looks unused to me, uh, just in really nice shape um, and uh, 
kind of long length of stripes. And then for my son, an old navy gray long sleeve shirt. I needed a belt, so I was happy to find this. I'd also like to find a black one as well. This one is leather, it's braided, it's brown. And on the back, I saw the label said it was coach. So I spent $5 for a coach belt. This little bag was filled with these um, travel size items, $1.50 for it, so 50 cents a piece. So we've got orange sea conditioner, orange sea cleanser. That's by Salon Lari, never heard of it. And it is a geranium essential oil body wash. Yes. Thought we'd try it. I got a few candles. These are about the size of a votive. Um, $1.50, $1.50, and then a dollar. Uh, it's a brand called Candier. They smell really good. Um, and I guess they are Christmas scented. So it says, your best friend be like, I'm not coming unless there's wine. And this one says it's fir trees, cedar wood, eucalyptus, patchouli, and tonka bean. It also says Ryan Porter candle. So I'm gonna have to Google this in a second. How about missile nope? Um, it smells like chocolate, peppermint. It's, it smells so good. And then this one, let it flow, let it flow, Pinot. <laughs> And that one is cinnamon, fruit, and berries. That's like the classic, like holiday one. I love this one, like a like a palm a pomander type scent. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna Google and figure out what these candles are. Well, it said that Ryan Porter is a designer who specializes in making candles that have humorous sentiments on them. So he makes candles. I got this pair of Bayberry candles for $2. I have had this exact same uh, candle package before. I found it at the thrift store and there was a slip of paper in the other set I had that said, you're supposed to burn them, um, I don't know, one at Christmas and one at New Year's Eve or one on New Year's Eve and one on New Year's Day and I was supposed to bring good luck for the rest of the year. So these are attached says hand dipped in the 18th century manner. I saw this candle while I was waiting in line to pay um, and I could see it said it was a beeswax candle for only $1.50. Well, it just happens to me be made by Hun's Honey and at church we have sold Hun's Honey, not as a fundraiser for our church or the Philoptohos, but for uh, just actually to promote them and their mission and the candles are made by women survivors. So they have honey, but I did not know that they made candles. And it's a really cool, very like crate and barrel shaped design. And it says that this will burn for 15 hours. So that was a great price. The next time I will, <laughs> now that I know that they sell candles, definitely buy from them. So I just wanted to see how much this would cost, $14.50 for the 15 hours. And their large one, which is almost a foot tall, is only $22.50. So that is a pretty good deal for uh, a beeswax candle. I love these clips and I go through them like crazy. So I picked up this little bag for $1.50, uh, two big ones for 50 cents, the medium size for 75. This magnet, it's a little Greek cookie. It's a kularekia. It has little sesame seeds on it. Uh, it was next to one that looked like a croissant. I just thought, am I seeing that right? Um, so I was thinking about getting both, but I got this one. I'm gonna give it to my mom next time I see her. And it was $1, I think she'll love it. Um, so also in the dryer right now is a comfy cozy. Those are those huge fleece like blanket coats. I paid only $6 and my daughter wanted one so bad. I remember I got some for my nieces a few years ago and they were $50. So $6 is a great deal. I got a pair of Talbot's black pants for myself for work. I got a pair of fleece pajamas for my son. They were three. I think the Talbot's uh, pants were seven. So you saw earlier in this vlog, I was at Anthropology this week. Very unexpected that we went to the mall. 
and there was a section that had these diffusers or essential oils. I really did not look at it, but I did notice it for a second. Well, here we are at the sale, and I think this is that brand. So it even says Anthropology. They were $3 each. I really don't know what they are, but I can tell there's some type of oil. Um, so I picked these up. I can't remember if there was only one of them and I bought it or if there were two and I just decided to get one of this scent. So this one, let me open it, but you can see there's like pumpkins and gourds on it. And then that one is cardamom vanilla. It's a fragrance refill for something. That says Alos Sleep, but it says Pura. And then that one is the Anthropology Smart Scent Pura. So I think it's like those wick diffuser so I, it must be some special little device that they go in because they've got one of those wicks where the fragrance has come in into it so i thought maybe i could use my wax melter but maybe i'll see how much one of those costs might as well get one now that i've bought two refills well clothes are finished so these are the black pants and this is the fleece pajama set so thanks for watching everyone and i just checked i'm 15 away from the giveaway so share this video put it on your facebook put it on your instagram share it on the community tab i think we're getting close to a giveaway bye